Hey hello everybody, my name is Kadem and welcome back for another video of Journey of Wrestling. We're going to continue this series, boys. In the last video, we went ahead and started uh, the first uh, or the second season or whatever. Or at least, like, did uh, most of it, uh, uh, the first tier of it. So we're in April right now, 2022. So we are starting it up with four event effects as well on it. So we, uh, we can do TLC, Steel Cage, and Steel Cell match. These are really upping the uh, the matches what we don't want to do is a non-sanctioned match that's the type of match that we absolutely do not want to do boys uh, today uh we did unlock a new wrestler i think uh or at least i think it was bobby enon actually yeah bobby enon is the guy we went after for the last one so we got ourselves a third manager and i'm not going to go for any more managers i already got three of them i feel like uh, we've pretty much done everything that was to be do uh, done with uh, these managers uh, Bobby Anen is set up to be with Jake Roberts, of course. So, hopefully, it's gonna help Jake Roberts up a little bit. He definitely needs some uh, some help uh, on that um, uh, on that side. That's for sure. So, I think we're good. I think we can start it up. I just gotta remember to not do uh, unsanctioned match, and we should be fine. So, we're almost at one million. I I got a feeling we're gonna be able to get at one million uh, of followers. Or a fan in this video, boys. That would be fantastic for us. All these uh, these two fuse, that ongoing fuse we got right now, are really big time hyped up. Uh, fans are really into them, so that's fantastic. We gotta keep them going, uh, big time. So the first match we're gonna do. Let me just pull up my uh, my stuff really quick. Let me pull it up. All right. So first thing we're gonna do. It's a, a multi-man ma match, boys. So it's going to be a six-man match. Uh, big time right here. So six-man match. Let's see really quick. So we are doing... This is this has nothing to do, right, with the... Oh, Rob Van Dam is the uh, television champion. All right. So, yeah. Ric Flair, the, uh, the uh, heavyweight championship is going to be a six-man match, boys. Now, uh, we're going to go against Sting. There we go. After that, uh, Sting is a face, right? Yeah, neutral in a face. We do need a stone cold. Let's put stone cold in there as well. There we go. So that's three of them. So that's three, f two faces, one neutral. I need another neutral. If I have one, I don't have any. Okay. Let's just put Kurt Enning in there, Eddie in there, and now we only need one more wrestler. So just one more wrestler between Robin and Ricky Steamboat. We're gonna pick Ricky just because he. He's got the advantage over here, uh, and also Robin Dem is already the champion. I can't. I don't want to have uh, a, a wrestler that has two titles at the same time. That kind of that's uh, pretty bad usually. So there we go. Main event is going to be a six-way match, boys, and it is going to be. Uh, it, there is going to be some gimmick to it. Now uh, every single big main, uh, matches are going to have gimmick added to them. So we're just going to uh, add from the top. TLC match for that one, boys. It's up, it up as well as you can see. Match uh, events. So Steel Cage and Steel Cell are the other ones we want to do. Uh, we absolutely uh, want to do another type of match. So what we're going to do here. What we're going to do here is a simple singles match, boys. We're just going to do a singles match between Jake Roberts and Rob Van Dam. Uh, it's, we're not going to, we're going to keep it simple as much as possible right here. Uh, that's what we need, right? We just need to, uh, them to keep it going. We are going to give them, everybody gets a, a special stipulation though in this one. So we are going to give them uh, an Iron Man match. I think last time was an I Quit or LMS. No, last time was an LMS match, right? So now we got to give them the first blood match. There we go. We got to give them the first blood match for the match for Trish Stratus. Uh, not Trish Stratus, but Mickey James. Uh, we're going to put up just a single, like a uh, singles match once again. Just a singles match once again for this one as well, boys. And uh, it's going to be because every single one of the matches is going to be gimmick matches. So first blood, now it's a casket match. There we go. So casket match for your woman's title. And the rest, there's only three wrestlers remaining. So it's going to be Trish versus Chris Benoit versus Gail Kim for the last remaining one. And it's going to be, uh, since it's a special one, TLC, it's going to be a still cell match. There we go. So there's the matchups, boys, for the, for today. The first pay-per-view. These are going to be the matches right here. First match, R Ricky Steamboat versus Eddie. Kurt Enning, St Stone Cold, Sting, Ric Flair. Six-way match. TLC for the heavyweight. Big-time match, all right? Robin Dem versus Jake. 
The feud's still going on. First blood match. Uh, Mickey and Lita casket match. And remember, Jake ha uh, is going to have... Uh, Bobby Ina is going to have his debut right off the start. So he's going to debut uh, on that match, which is going to be fantastic. Uh, of course, we still got these parts right here. So now it's time for the segments. We obviously want to pick up some se uh, segments in here. First thing we want to do, main event package as the usual stuff. So main event package right here. Uh, next thing, is there anything that's new? Not really. Well, actually, I think, it, it, yeah, there is something new. So we can uh, probably do a feud. A feud package right here. Up it up. Uh, where's, the, the, where's the feud stuff? I got to figure it out. Uh, there we go. Feud stuff. So Jake Roberts versus Rob Van Dam. We're going to up that feud up, boys, by a mile. It's already good. Uh, good to go. So now we're good. We're good to go, boys, for this first pay-per-view. Let's up on in. I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, I know exactly what I want to do. So barely legal. First pay-per-view of the day. Uh, we've got a lot of fan interest for the big time uh, main event and stuff like that. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens. Uh, next up. So the fans, they want Eddie to win the title. They want Rob Van Dam to retain his. And Mickey James to retain as well. And Trish Stratus to win the first match. Uh, we'll see how this uh, uh, goes, but uh, we'll we'll see. We'll see. Now I do. I did forget. I do need to push someone new. Since I've got Bobby Enon as the manager for Jake Roberts, I just added him as a manager, right? I think I'm gonna push Jake Roberts, boys. I'm gonna push Jake Roberts because he's got made Bobby Enon in there. He needs. Uh, he needs a little bit of a push, right? So let's give him to him. Uh, Trish Stratus. Uh, Chris Benoit and Gail Kim, they want, the fans want Chris, uh, Trish to win. Now, she's been champ before. This is not for any title or anything, but they would push her. She's got a lot of momentum going on her side. But uh, we want to go for the guy that or the person that's the least happy right now. And I've, uh, that is Chris Benoit. He's the one who needs the, uh, the, the win right now. So we're going to give it to him. Boom, just like that. Give the win to Chris Benoit. Four and a half star match. Pretty good match. Still still good match goes up as well. Uh, match rating effect probably helped out uh, uh, quite a lot. It's really going to help out the popularity for Chris Benoit right here. That's really going to be fantastic for him. Next match. Mickey and versus Lita. The fans wanted Mickey to win. Uh, so I'll give them exactly what they want uh, on that side. I can't give Lita uh, the win or anything. I'm just going to give the fans what they want. Can we add a, a special finish or anything? I think we can. We can do pass out and stuff like that. But if I do any of these, that means that it's literally going to end with a, a, a turn, a, a, a somebody f turning, right? So Mickey is not special and Lita doesn't have anything special. So they can turn if we need them to, which I think is gonna what I'm going to end up doing. Uh, pass out. So the heel, what happens? The heel turns face and the face turns heel. That's kind of cool. So we switch them around. Yeah, we switch them around. So Mickey is going to become a face and Lita is going to become a heel. Yeah, kind of like that. We can do that. It's going to really up the match quite a lot. Help the paper, aid the match itself for the stipulation, the feud as well. Uh, now, what do we do? So face, face turns to the side, dark side to win, but the heel refuses to give up. So Lita needs to win that match, though, if we do that one. Let's just simulate then. We're going to do a uh, pass out, simulate. Oh, uh, face alignment needs to win. All right, so we need to give Lita the win. But the fans want Mickey to retain, though. That's the thing. Yeah, I'll just give the fans what they want right here. I'll just give the fans what they want. Did I already do the screw job finish? I don't think I did. I'm pretty sure I didn't, but uh, we'll see what happens right here. Screw job finish, Mickey wins. Oh, yeah, it already happened. So we already did the screw job finish for that feud. And um, plus, the focus on shortcomings. So match, uh, I guess they weren't good. They didn't start, they didn't start, uh, didn't have a good match by itself. Screw job went up, but yeah. They didn't have a good match and that did not help out. The fact that I did fi uh, finish that was already held up. It was a decent match nonetheless, but it could have been a four star if I hadn't done like the the finish the same finish again oh well it's fine the fans wanted mickey to win right so i had to give it to them it is what it is all right so a uh, feud package for this one 
Really good. It's going to help out the feud quite a lot right there. That's really good. Now, I did say I wanted to push Jake Roberts, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So, Jake, you're getting a huge uh, push for that one. And uh, we can't do screw job for that one or anything. Is Jake a heel? No, he's not. And Rob Van Dam's a face. Pass out would mean that uh, the face needs to win for the pass out. Uh, by any means, throw the towel. Switch alliances. Well, I can't do that for the, uh, the thing. So, uh, respectful end. By any means. Is uh, Rob Van Dam, can he turn? Yeah, he can turn if he wants. It's Jake Roberts, he cannot turn. He, he's got to stay a heel. So, uh, throw in the towel, respectful end by any means. So, a face goes to extreme length to, in order to win. I can't do that one. I can't do that one, boys. Yeah, I got to give the win to uh, Jake right here. So, we'll just switch alliance. The manager betrays this cli their client, causing them to lose and joins the winner. Can't do that either. We'll just give the straight up the win to Jake Roberts. I can't do a screw job or anything. So let's just give the win to Jake Roberts, boys. Straight up. In a straight up finish. And Jake wins it. A uh, pretty bad match overall. It's not a good match or anything. It's not a horrible match, but not a good one either. It's three and a half star. And it didn't really help out the feud too much. So we uh, we need to have a better uh, better one than this. Hopefully Jake Roberts is going to have a good time though. Uh, since I'm going to be pushing him and the stuff. Hopefully it's going to help out his momentum. It's going to be able to have a better matches. I don't know. But uh, there we go. 100% effectiveness for the main event package. That's always good to see. Main event hype is as of the chart boys. Now they did say that they wanted uh, Eddie to win the title. And the fans do get to choose their champion. Unless, uh, unless I'm mistaken right here. Well, I could always do a special finish. I can't do a special finish right here, but uh, I could always simulate, right? I think I would uh, rather simulate right here uh, to see who becomes the champion. So we're just going to simulate. We're going to let the fate decide whether a uh, Ric Flair uh, retains or not. If it is Eddie, it is Eddie, but um, it doesn't care what the fa I don't care what the fans think. I just want... Uh, randomness to choose what happens. So, who is the champ? Sting is the champ. All right, of all people, boys. So Sting becomes the champ. Uh, it didn't help out their popularity, but their overness all they they all went up in overness right here. So that's pretty good. Except for Ric Flair, his overness went down uh, quite a lot. Actually, no, never mind. Oh, it's all their morale change actually. Yeah, their morale change went up. Uh, some of them popularity went up a little bit, I guess. Overall, it's good enough. Sting gets the title. He's going to be happy about it, I guess. Good for him. Good for him. Um, did, did not expect uh, him to get the title or anything, but uh, that's good for him, I guess. So four and a half, uh, well, almost a five star match. Decent enough. Decent enough. What about the pay-per-view itself? Four and a half star pay-per-view, like always, boys. So barely legal went up. Uh, casket match decreased. Fire's Blood match decreased. Our actual company went up again in reputation. That's really good. TLC match increased once again. So everything's going up mostly. I think that was a decent pay-per-view. It could have been better, boys. I'm not going to lie. But we did gain some fans once again. 32k fans. So we're still doing really good. And uh, WCW gained a lot of fans from that one. So they're going to be hard to beat. But uh, yeah, we're doing all right. We're doing just fine, boys. So we just uh, did one of the objectives, which was to hold a big event or something. I had a good talk with Jake Roberts. We was able to reassure him. Yeah, we were reassuring him as well. And plus, we gave him the, uh, the title. So now he's definitely going to be happy. Uh, bad day you ever get a low for no reason. Okay. Good rewards. Future superstar. Bobby Fish. Carl Anderson. Travis Tomko. These are all future superstars. All right. So effect matches. Submission match and ladder match are up, uh, are going upwards for the hardcore Evan pay-per-view boys. Okay, uh, I got you. So where this, where is he standing from right now, um, Jake Roberts? That is, now that he's a, uh, now that now that he's a television champion, he's uh, he's going up. He's starting to. Uh, it's going to help him out to, uh, def definitely. That's for sure. Uh, he's he's over right now, so that's help out his workness as well. 
which is always a, a, a really good thing. He's happy, he's 80% happy, so that's that's really good to see. That's really good to see, boys. Work rate, we're still working on his uh, work rate. Uh, I want to see, though, um, who is the next one that I got to work on right now. So if we go for morale, always go for morale, boys. The least happy superstar is Lita. So what we're going to do, we're going to go for Lita right here. We're going to go for her and we're going to reassure her, boys. So we're always going to do that. Whoever is the most unhappy superstar right now, we're going to reassure uh, that that one. It takes only one month and it works 100% uh, of the time mostly. So we only need to gain 50 more K fans and we get the 1 million. So that's fantastic. Let's keep it going, boys. So hardcore heaven. We already did that before. So we're coming back right here. 50 is hype. The pay-per-view itself is already hyped up quite a lot. So that's good for us. Uh, so Sting... Uh, he's gonna be now. He's gonna be. He's our champion. He's gonna be defending in uh, literally a singles match. So we're gonna have to find him a feud right here. Now he is a face, so we need to find him a neutral or a heel, boys. Uh, it says that if he goes up against Ric Flair, that would be a great feud. That's what the they they're saying basically right here. Okay. Well, I'd say Eddie is super popular right now, though. Uh, Ric Flair would be great, but Eddie's super popular. I think we should go with Eddie, boys, because he's super popular right now. The fans are really onto him. Add a feud between these two. We're going to do face versus heel. Uh, heel turns face. Uh, new challenger. We're just going to do a random one. We're not going to do new challenger or anything. We're going to do, I guess, patriotism. Whatever, whatever it is. We're just going to do that feud up. Uh, next thing is going to be Rob Van Dam versus uh, uh, Jake Roberts, of course, for the television champion match, championship match. It's going to be a multi-man match. Now, since the last multi-man was uh, a six-way, this time around, it's going to be a triple, uh, it's going to be a triple threat. We're going back to the the other route, so it's just going to be a, a triple threat. Let's find out uh, the other one. So it's a heel versus a face. It's got to be for upper mid card, so we got to find a neutral uh, sort of person right here. That would be great. So either Chris Benoit or Trish, whoever's the most popular right now. And it is Trish that's the most popular. So Trish, there we go. She gets a chance, boys. Just like that. And this one, it's going to be stelled up a little bit. It's starting to be stelled up. I think we can still get it moving a little bit. Uh, we can still keep it going, but maybe the other match after that that they, uh, they do, we're going to have to blow off the feud. So this is going to be a singles match. Uh, singles match for that one. We are going to have... Uh, uh, we're going to add a gimmick, uh, gimmick match to that one. So the last gimmick match was a casket, which wasn't good, uh, very good. But uh, right now we're going to try... Is a ladder match is up, right? Yeah. I think what we, we want to do is always keep it right here. If it's a, a singles match, the special the special stipulations, we're going to keep it over here. So we're going to just do an Iron Man match between the two girls. So an Iron, Iron Woman match for uh, the Women's Championship right here. So that's going to be great. Uh, next thing right here, I think what we want to do is find out what do we want from now on. So we definitely want a multi-man match once again. A triple threat uh, last time, that, that's what it was. We're going to do a fatal four-way between these three guys. Why not? Just a fatal four-way right here. And a singles match for uh, to remain it. Now, I, I'm i going to do just a sing, uh, no gimmick. No gimmicks for that one. And a uh, gimmick match, though, for this one right here. So we're just going to add a gimmick. Uh, Iron Man, uh, so we're just going to do, I guess, the last, uh, next one would be a high quit match. So, an high quit match between these guys. Alright, so that's going to be the stipulation, boys. It's kind of a, a weird one a little bit, but it is what it is. So, let's just put it like that. There we go. So, Women's Championship is going to be the first one. I think that's good enough. Let's just put up uh, the segments really quick. So, let's just do a main event really quick. Main event package, like always. So, like just like that. Next up, it would be, and we already did that feud, for that feud, uh, I think we already did, uh, did it for Lita and Mickey James. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, but I think we already did it. So 
what we could do right here is an actual uh, promo. So we can do a promo feud right here. So promo battle or something like that. Push up contest. I think a promo battle between these two would be uh, pretty great. So let's just do a promo battle for Lita versus Mickey James boys. Big time. There we go. Big time. So let's do a promo battle before their match. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. We're going to keep it like that. As simple as possible, boys. That looks, that looks pretty clean for me, to me. Looks fine as it is. So let's just uh, keep it going. There we go. Let's uh, let's hop on in, boys. Let's keep it going. So May. We're in May of uh, 2002. Hardcore Heaven. Once again, we're coming back to that pay review right here. Let's see what the fans want. They want Sting to retain the title. Kurt Enning to win via this uh, distraction. Not going to do that. Uh, that's a botch finish. So I'm not doing botch finishes. Uh, Rob Van Dam to win the title. See, they want him to be the champion. Not going to happen. Jake uh, is going to stay the champ. Chris Benoit to win. And Lita to win the title. So they want Lita to be the champ, boys. Uh, so Mickey James to uh, lose our title right here. That's what they want. So a little bit of a promo battle right here. Uh, uh went pretty well went pretty well overall so that's uh, i'm happy about that one the actual match itself so now they wanted Lita to win so i i will give the fans what they want if it's a title match i'll give them what they want so they want Lita to win um we're gonna be able to do the pass out finish that we wanted to do boy so pass out finish uh a face uh so Lita turns to the dark side in order to win but Mickey James refuses to give up and ends up passing out. So this is what's going to happen. Lita wins the title. Great match. Passed out. Two, four, uh, six boys. Six and a half star match. You can't, be, you can't get better than that for the first match as well. So six and a half star match. That is a fantastic match for both of the women right there. And that's the very first loss in Mickey James's career with us. So uh, the, definitely a, a great way for the title to, to switch hands like that. That's really fantastic. Next up, Chris Benoit versus Gail Kim. I'm just going for the one that needs, uh, needs uh, the win the most because of the morale. I'll give the win to Gail Kim. She seems like the one who needs it the most right now. And there we go. Great match. Great finish. Work with the crowd. The crowd was happy about that one. Helped the main, uh, helped the match as well, quite a lot. So almost a five-star match, just like that. That's really good, boys. That's really good. Super happy about that. I quit match goes up. Iron Man match goes up. Yeah, that's it, really going the way I wanted it to go right now. Now they did want Rob Van Dam to win, but I'm pushing Jake Roberts right now, so he's the one getting the wins. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to give him the, the win as usual. Let's see what we got right here. Nothing. We don't have any special finishers or anything. So Jake Roberts straight up wins the match once again. Another pretty good match. There we go. Only like only positives from that match. Everybody goes up in terms of overness and morale. So yeah, that's really good. I'm happy about that one. That, now it's only a four star match. But I think that most of the Jake Roberts match matches are going to be very low in terms of ratings because he's not that great of a worker. Now, he is a two-star of a worker right now because of his overness. That's where I am working on his work rate. He needs to go up. He's not a good wrestler by himself, boys. He's a great gimmick guy, but a wrestler in itself is not that good. But um, it helps out that he's with two good other wrestlers and stuff like that. So... For this match right here, right before the main event, I think they... Who did they want to win again? I think they wanted Stone Cold or Kurt Enning, right? I think they wanted Kurt Enning to win. I'm not sure. But uh, I could always give... Well, I'm going to give the uh, the win anyways to the one who needs it the most, which is obviously Kurt Enning. Mr. Perfect needs to win the most right now. So we'll give him the win, boys. There we go. Now, it's still a great match. Five and a half star match, boys. Man, I'm having some good... That's a really good pay-per-view right now. We are really having a great pay-per-view right now. That's fantastic. Everything's going on my side. I just love seeing that right now. That's really going to help out Kurt Enning. He need, like, his morale, he ne it needs to go up and stuff. All right, so that's that. We're up and on to the main event now. 
90% effectiveness, of course, 96% of hype, or there we go. And we've got Chris, uh, or Eddie Guerrero, super hyped up right now, versus Sting. They wanted Sting to retain the title, though. The fans wanted Sting to retain the title. We'll give them that. It's the beginning of the uh, of the thing of the feud, so we can do a screw job finish and give Sting the win, even though he's a face. Doesn't matter. Sting gets the win via screw job. Uh, good finish. The fans are happy about that one. Almost a five star match from that, so that's fantastic. Uh, both guys are going up in terms of stats. So you always like to see that. I ha I didn't ha I didn't get a single bad match this time around. So really happy about the my wrestlers' performances right here. Really happy about that one, boys. It's really it's gonna help out our feud quite a lot uh, or m matches quite a lot. So the pay per view itself, our very first five star pay per view, I believe. I think this is by far one of the best pay per view we've seen yet. So there's a fantastic pay-per-view, a flawless pay-per-view, boys. You love to see that. Definitely love to see that. Uh, Extreme Championship Wrestling, so our company is going up even more. with reputation of 8 now. If uh, we go right here, we gained 90k fans. So once we get to the next part, we're going to see that we are officially going to be at 1 million fans, boys. Over the 1 million mark. That is fantastic. 90k fans of gaining right here. Wow, that is fantastic. It, re it truly is, boys. So still one month of training to do for Jake Roberts. We're gonna go uh, win June, so we can look for the next uh, wrestler that we wanna bring in for July. All Style City Showdown has three match effects. Iron Man match and tables matches are going up. Street fights are uh, not considered uh, at all. We don't wanna do those. All right, so that's really good. Now, if you want to book, I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to look at morale. Who's the most unhappy right now? It looks like Chris Benoit is the one that's the most unhappy right now. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go look at him. And we're going to up his morale quite a bit. So reassure him. There we go. We're going to work on that. Next up, Indies. Let's take a look. Who do we want to bring in for the next uh, month, boys? Our newest uh, addition for the next month. Do I want to go for a girl once again? Another woman's wrestler? I don't actually need to this time around. I think I've got plenty as of now. I, I think I can go for anybody I want. And uh, Christopher Daniels, for example. Someone like him could be a great addition. I saw his name right here. Uh, we've got some good people like Brett Phoenix. May Young boys, there we go, a veteran, but she's a natural baby for Vayface, but she's a bad wrestler, so we don't want her in. Uh, Jacqueline could be a really good one. Sergeant Slaughter, but he's a bad wrestler as well, so we don't want that. Uh, we got some choices here, so let me may go around, see what who I could pick. I think I want to go for the Hardy Boys, boys. Uh, I think I want to go for them. Uh, I would get two wrestlers for the price of one. Because it's a tag team, I could dissolve the tag team afterwards uh, once I get them. And uh, they're, they're pretty good. They're both pretty good. Uh, pretty good wrestlers. They've got Risk Taker, which is for basically extreme stuff, right? They're very extreme. It's really good. You can see they're both extreme. They've got workhorses, dedicated wrestler, gimmick matches and stuff. So they would be really good for uh, extreme stuff. Now, they do have drug habits, or, or Jeff Hardy does. But uh, I think they would be pretty good wrestlers. I do want them uh, on my show. Definitely want them. So there we go. That's that's a done deal right there. I want to get them. I'm going to get uh, two for the price of one right there. So I think that would be a pretty good uh, asset to us. And what uh, 1.4 million uh, followers or fans right here. That's pretty good. Rida's morale went up. Pretty good show. Uh, our Eric Bischoff says... All right, so let's see really quick what we got. So uh, if we take a look at rosters or jobs, companies, we are now, we're still in there. We're still hanging out. We are getting closer to uh, WCW in terms of popularity overall, but they're still going up. They keep going up. So it's going to be hard to catch them. Uh, we really just need to keep having great stuff. We have the best reputation out of, out of them. 100% hotness right now, so we're really doing good. 
WWF on the other end is doing super bad. So we just got to keep rolling on that momentum that we've got right now. So let's just keep it going right here. What do we want to do? We're going to end off uh, the, these two uh, feuds right here. We're going to end them off in this pay-per-view. So it's going to be kind of a big deal kind of uh, for pay-per-view to be honest. So we are going to do a multi-man match for the main event match, I guess, between Sting and Eddie. Last time it was a triple, tr it was a fatal four-way. So now it's going to be a five-way match. So five wrestlers. So what we're going to do here, so Sting, Heady, that's two of them. That's a face and a heel. I want at least a neutral. So we're going to definitely pick, yeah, Ric Flair in there once again. Uh, who else can we pick now? Anybody. Anybody can be picked up. So I just want to pick up. Whoever is the most popular. It seems like Rob Van Dam is super popular right now. But he's already in a feud with Jake. So we can't do that. Uh, we're just going to pick up, I guess, Stone Cold again. And it's either Kurt Enning or Ricky Steamboat. Seems like Kurt Enning is the most popular one uh, out of these guys. So there we go. Just like that. We're not going to blow off the feud. It's only starting. What a, uh, I'm not going to do any gimmick matches. I'm just going to keep it like that uh, for that one. What about this one? It's going to be... Okay, so the, this is going to be a blowout. And it's going to be a simple a singles match. Singles match, blowout, no finishes or anything. No step, special special stipulations. Just a simple blowout, uh, boys. And what about um, the this match right here? Yeah, it is going to be a multi-man match for the woman. So multi-man match... Uh, the last one was a fatal four-way, so we gotta get, uh, we gotta expect like a six-way match. Uh, I guess we put, we could put up the 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 guys in there, but uh, that that wouldn't work. So we're just gonna do a fatal four-way and say that uh, it's uh, gonna be a, a I guess a six-way match, right? We're gonna keep in mind that it was supposed to be a, a six-way. So add a gimmick. We are add, gonna, gonna add a gimmick match for that one. The last gimmick match was a steel cage, I believe. So now we want to go. What's the gimmick match? Iron Man or tables would uh, up it up. But uh, what's the bad one? Street fight. We don't want to do three fights. Okay. Well, I, I'm going to do to the submission match. I'm just going to do. There we go. Submission match between these two, uh, these females. And what about um, what about the last match? It is going to have a gimmick a stipulation. So, okay. Because I'm looking, uh, I'm not the one choosing, by the way. It's uh, I'm doing a dice game that's choosing for me the stipulations and stuff like that. So last time it was a night quit match right here. So we're just going to do... The thing that I don't like about this game, though, is that you can't auto book with feuds or gimmicks, special gimmicks on, right? They're going to add feuds. They're going to add matches. That's going to be great, but they don't add feuds to it. I could do a random uh, feud to it. So I think I can do that. Uh, I'm going to do it really quick. I'm just, I, I'm not sure what to do exactly as a, a as a few, special stipulation. But first off, we are going to do the, the production. So let's just do the main event package first. Uh, feud, we already did for these two, but we can do a feud package for this one right here. So we're going to do that. And that's the feud package for the main event right here. So we're going to do that. All right, so that's fantastic. So now we can manage, go to other artifacts, roulette. So run a gimmick match roulette, adding a random gimmick to the match. So we're going to use that and we're going to run it to Chris Bernoit versus Ricky Steamboat, boys. So that's going to be the gimmick match, random gimmick match, just like that, boys. So that's what we're going to do. So there's our pay-per-view. That's what it looks like right here. That's going to be uh, what it's going to be looking like. Hostile City Showdown. Let's see. We're going to have a good pay-per-view right here. Hopefully so, boys. It would be great. So Hostile City Showdown. Looks like a great pay-per-view for me. Hopefully we're going to have a fun time right here. Let's see what the fans want for the titles themselves. They want Sting to retain the title once again. They want Roberts to retain. And Lita to retain. And Ricky Stebo to win the first match. That doesn't matter too much. All right, so first match. What was the um, the randomized thing right here? Air versus hair match. All right, well, the one stipulations I didn't want to get, uh, it's in there. So air versus hair match. So whoever loses the match is going to get his hair cut off, I guess. 
it's a weird stipulation that I don't usually like, boys, but it is what it is. And Rick, uh, Chris Benoit's going to get the win anyways because uh, uh, he's the one who's got the lowest morale out of all of the of uh, out of these two. So Chris Benoit gets the win, and uh, Ricky Steamboat uh, goes bald from uh, from that last. That's crazy, but it's actually a really good match. Good psychology, so that's really good. Ricky Steamboat got his hair forcefully shaved off. I'm actually gonna get rid of these stipulation matches. I feel like they're pretty bad. That's they're really really bad, boys. All right, so that's done. Uh, next thing, women's championship match, boys. Fatal four way between all four women. Let's see what we got. Do we um, what do we do right here? They wanted Lita to retain, right? Yeah, the fans wanted Lita to re retain, and it is a blow off for the feud. So Lita's just gonna simply retain. Boom, just like that. She retains five star match, uh, classic match once again right here. She retains blow off to the feud. A fantastic feud that ended up in the 150 uh, 50s, so that's uh, that's fantastic in itself. So that's good. That's a really good end. Uh, obviously, Jake Roberts is gonna the feud's ending for this one as well. Jake Roberts is gonna it's gonna blow it off. He's gonna win. It's gonna uh, switch alliances. We are not gonna do this one. Uh, we could do uh, one of those, but uh, that would imply that Jake Roberts would lose, and I can't do that. So we're just going to simply give Jake Roberts the win, just like that. Boom! Jake Roberts gets the win uh, because he's getting pushed, but uh, you can see it's a circle in red right there. That means he got injured. So Jake Roberts is now injured. We're going to have to see for how long he's injured. Hopefully not for long, so I don't have to actually vacate his title or anything, but... Uh, there you go. Pretty decent match once again. That's as pretty much as far as he's probably going to ever get. It's a four-star four matches, even against uh, Rob Van Dam. So there's a blow-off finish, boys. Um, we're, got, we're getting a good stuff uh, going on for uh, Jake Roberts right now. He's actually a main eventer now because of that push. Uh, main event package going pretty well. Patriotism, the feud package as well on top of it. Really helping out the feud as much as possible, boys. And uh, let's see what we got. So they want Sting to retain. We'll give them exactly that right here. Let's give Sting the win, boys. Boom. Just like that. Sting gets the win. Just another another one of those once again. Another classic match. Five-star match. Everybody's morale goes up. So you always want to see that. That's for sure. I always like to see that. That's a good sign right there. And the feud's going all the way up. It's really uh, fantastic. So... There's another good match. Sting just keeps uh, keeps winning, boys. He's having a good time right now. Definitely having a good time. The fans are on his side. Good for him. For almost a five-star uh, pay-per-view. Almost, boys. What about um, our actual uh, show? Keeps going up. Almost at a reputation of nine, boys. Let's see what we got. So we went up by 77k fans. Good. And WWF fans keep going down. But they still have around 5 million fans. So, I mean, it's going to be tough. Especially with WCW to keep skinning more fans than us even. Like, we're going up quick. But the WCW is just really good. Okay, so what is this? Afghanistan's government want us to, wants us to hold an event in their country to promote their sports and entertainment options. They're willing to offer us substantial compensation for it. They insisted, however, that women won't be allowed to wrestler, uh, wrestle as per their cultural norms. If you are willing to do the show, I'll give you, uh, I'll give you plenty of creative points to spend, but the fans and some of our female roster might not be happy about, uh, with it. I'm going to decline. I'm going to decline respectfully, Afghanistan. I got women's wrestler. I got four women wrestler part of my roster. There will be four wrestlers that I wouldn't be able to use on my roster for the next pay per view. And on top of that, I wouldn't be able to defend the ti the title. I mean, this is a big deal right here, man. I, I can't do that. All right, so Jeff Hardy is in. Matt Hardy is in. So we got two new wrestlers, boys. Jake Roberts' work skill went up. Skill increase, reassure success. Chris Benoit was happy. John Patel and El Generico, which is Sami Zayn, he's available to free agency. Um, after recent checkup on Rob Van Dam, I noticed that he has acquired the dangerous worker trait. 
that is not good that's a negative negative trade boys injury six months of injury for roberts we're gonna have to vacate his title oh oh that's rough that's rough due to air loss a gimmick change boost is available for get ricky steamboat oh, okay let's take a look on everybody first off uh jake roberts we're gonna have to vacate your title my guy uh i can't do that right now but rob van dam he now has acquired dangerous worker multiply chances to injure an opponent by three times this is bad this is really bad i don't like that boys i really don't like that we are gonna uh boost up so where did uh, jake roberts is yeah his workness is up now so that's really good for him but now he's injured i'm actually gonna go to titles i'm gonna have to vacate the title for the television one since our champion is injured now it's a shame because he was uh champion for three months he was on good uh, on a good roll right here but uh it's a real shame we're gonna just have to vacate the title right here so vacate it there we go vacate the television championship fortunately uh he's got injured so he's only gonna be uh back for another six months so it's unfortunate boys uh, aside from that the rd boys we are gonna go ahead and go into matches we are gonna do uh that right here we're gonna disband the team disband them there we go just like that so we disbanded the team right there they have a feud available between the two of them just because we, they've got disbanded and everything uh do they have anything no so they can either be face or heal or neutral at uh, this position i'm gonna put them as neutral whoever is not like natural heal or anything or actually before i uh, look into it uh matt already yeah he's good what about jeff already is he natural no he's not a natural heal or face i just want my roster to be equivalent of each other right to have the same amount of heals compared to faces and stuff like that just so e it evens out so we're good on that part streak potential so we got the biggest uh, pay-per-view of the year for us by far eat wave it's our wrestlemania basically we got a lot of uh event special for the next ma uh, pay the next uh video basically going on uh street potential rob van dam is on the uh, undefeated in that pay-per-view sting Lita, chris benoit and stone cold right they've got a streak going on effect potential i quit match and steel cage matches are good for this match we'll just see where this all of this leads us i am gonna train somebody and reassure another wrestler so remember to leave a like and subscribe and enjoy the video i'll see you guys for the next one keep it easy